Would you spread sour milk on your bread? You might not think so, but that's actually what cream cheese is. It's not as popular as cheddar in the UK, but it's catching on fast. At this German factory, they process 450,000 litres of milk a day. But before it can be turned into cream cheese, it's got to be cooled down. Next, it's separated into skimmed milk and cream. These are then blended back together in varying quantities to give cream cheeses with a range of different fat contents. The dairy mix needs to be pasteurized. It's heated for 20 seconds at 73 degrees to kill off any germs. Then lactic acid is added. When the mixture is heated, the lactic acid spreads through the milk, making it thicker and turning it sour. It's then poured into a separator to remove the excess liquid, which is called whey. If you remember Little Miss Muffet, you might be able to guess that what's left behind is the curd. This is what the cheese will be made out of, but it needs a little salt, or a little bucket of salt. Then it's heated again, just in case any germs made it through. When you think of cream cheese, smoked salmon and a bagel might come to mind. But this factory caters for a wide range of tastes. This cream cheese is going to be mixed with dried onions and chives. If you've got a date in the evening, you might want to think twice about having this for lunch. Cream cheese is different from other cheeses. It's not allowed time to mature, as it's meant to be eaten fresh. Despite its popularity in Europe, it was actually invented in the United States. In 1872, a New York farmer developed a richer cheese than ever before. And this became known as cream cheese. The final step is to whip up the cheese with some nitrogen gas. This helps to increase its volume and makes it easier to spread. The tubs are made out of the plastic on these two rolls. It's heated and then a machine punches it into shape. Next, each pot gets a perfect portion. That includes the Weight Watcher variety. They're sealed, chilled for 12 hours, and then ready to hit the supermarkets. <laughs>